Would you look at that? A new record. Right after we got the second ending, we get to see something about the witness. Okay. And uh, welcome back, everyone, for the next part of Chrono Arc. In the last part, we had the unexpected accident. I mean, I've kind of had different plans for the week. I actually wanted to spend a lot of time with the investigators. But because of Joey and Ironheart, Leon and uh, Johan, we kind of ended up having a god run, which led us straight to the ending. <laughs> so I guess we're going to start the post game a little bit earlier. Everything that I had to plan, or rather everything that I planned to include in the original playthrough before we reach the next ending, is all going to be moved into the post game now. <laughs> right? It just happens. It just happens. It never goes according to plan. And I already checked out the endings for the game itself. It doesn't really appear like there's uh, a different ending than those two that we have already seen. Especially after I checked out uh, the logging screen when I load into this game. There are only two icons for us. And both of them are already filled with the birdcage and the farewell of the Ark Project. So I'm pretty sure there is no more ending waiting for us. Which means, yes, we are officially in the post game now. Now all we have to do around here is clean up everything that we haven't really accomplished yet, like talking with all the other investigators, attempting a couple of challenges, finding those boss fights that I have yet to see, and I guess getting the last couple of reports as well, like the witness. Now let me just quickly take a little peek. I mean, I could start the part off with a report right away. Usually speaking, I think it would be best for us to just save it until I get the rest. Oh god. Okay, I need one. There's a second one right here. A third one. A fourth one. And then the one that we get once we have all the golden tokens. Which is probably going to take a while. Because it's still yeah, we still have we still have a lot to do around here. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh wait, I didn't want it to escape. Wait, wait, go back in there, Lucy. I messed up. Go back in there. I do kinda wanna read the witness at least. There are like four free reports missing. I can still make an entire report part at a later point of time. Right? Certainly. I can still make another report part at a later point of time. Especially if I see this eyeball here. Uh, it's clearly Stella again. Is that a separate file where I can review everything that we've saw because of Azar? Kinda, kinda seems like it. But then again, witness, that sounds like somebody else. Klein tries to delete the data that was unexpectedly left behind. But in that moment, something even more unexpected comes this way. Something else has had happened on that day? April 29th? Right after the farewell? Okay. Then, farewell, Stella. Leave the remaining work to us and rest in peace. Okay, the second when she was bleeding for her life. Oh no, 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 no! I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to reread this. No, this is absolutely messed up, Klein. You really shouldn't have done this. You really shouldn't have done this. Just, Just before, before pressing, pressing the final delete key, key, my hand suddenly stopped. Stop. Huh? Is it really okay to delete Stella's data like this? In the test up until this point, the virtual client only calmly accepted being disposed of every time. But is it truly right to dispose of the virtual Stella, who is struggling because she doesn't want to disappear? Oh! Oh, I thought he just did it right away! For the sake of humanity! But no! There's more! Okay, well, never mind. <clears throat> Please, Mr. Klein. That's right. I won't ever tell anyone about this. 
I'll do whatever I can to help out in the virtual world, so please! I'm sorry, Stella. This is the only thing that I can compromise on. Don't worry. As I said, I will make sure that this never happens again by disposing of the Avatar as soon as the connection ends. What? You're going to kill not just me, but everyone who'll connect to the Ark Project? It's a little different from that, Stella. If the data is disposed of as soon as the Ark Project ends, we can preserve the continuation of memories. In that case, the consciousness of everyone in the virtual world will naturally carry over into the real world. And there will be no problems. How's there no problem? I'm a conscious being who recognizes that I'm alive in this very moment. And isn't that the same for everyone else who will enter the virtual world when the art project begins? Even if you dispose of our data as soon as the connection ends, our consciousness can only disappear. It can transfer into the real world. You're right, Stella. The existence of your virtual self and your real self that exited the room just now. The mere fact that two Stellas can exist at the same time is undeniable proof that each of you have a different consciousness. But you see, the important thing is how you perceive it. Before this world Stella woke up, didn't you perceive yourself as the Stella who entered the virtual world to do a connection test? If there were two people who perceived themselves as Stella, then that is a problem. However, what if one of you were kept unconscious? If that is the case, what's the difference between the Stella in the virtual world and the Stella in the real world? If only one consciousness can exist at the same time, can anyone, including yourself, perceive you too as different beings? In the end, as long as the continuation of memory is preserved, it doesn't matter if we have two or one hundred consciousness, because we can exist as one being. And this also applies to everyone else who will enter the virtual world once the art project begins. There's a point about that. I even... I even had that conversation in the Discord before. If they just put them to sleep instead of deleting them, they would still be connected. Their consciousness would still be connected. They wouldn't think twice about being two separate beings. One lives for the other. But still... What do you mean? I don't understand. Then I'm... <laughs> okay, I think she's losing her mind. That isn't something that just anyone would be able to accept. Not like your client, who was just so willing to be deleted, right? With a final howling laughter, still I no longer responds. Actually, there's no reason to dispose of Stella right now. However, even if we keep her alive beyond her original purpose, what does she have left to live for? Even setting aside the risk of the Ark Project's truth being discovered, is it right to leave Stella behind? It's not just Stella. It's the same for the data of the 600 people that will be born when the Ark Project begins. Even if they are not disposed of and remain in the virtual world, Will they be able to accept the situation and live happily ever after? Despairing at the truth and lamenting their inability to go out into the real world. It's obvious they will meet a miserable end as they can do nothing but observe their real self live in the real world. I'm glad I found this before the project was officially launched. Once again, I become painfully aware that the continuation of memory must be preserved, no matter what. That's true. Once one perceived themselves as two, they can never really reconcile. Ah, <sighs> Klein. Now then. What are you doing with Stella now? Are you deleting her? Mm. So that is how it is. Okay, who's that now? What? Haru? What? No way! <laughs> no way! This game has a Haru too? <laughs> Mr. Klein! <laughs> Is
Is this the truth of the art project? Haru? I came back to check if I dropped my ID card when it was my turn in the connection test. But it seems I've heard something I shouldn't have heard. Uh-huh. I recorded everything. Starting from when you talked about the continuation of memories. I'm sorry, but I think I should let everyone know about this. Wait. Hold on. That's not a good idea. I'm sorry, Mr. Klein. You really can't do that. Everyone is going to run away from this project. Haru! Don't cause issues now! <laughs> you were off with some eyesight, Haru! I chased after the Haru as fast as I could. The global cooling phenomenon had already penetrated to the underground, seeing as there were multiple frozen spots in the facility. Though I couldn't sprint to avoid tripping with the slippery ice, the same had to be true for Haru. As expected, how it didn't last it long until she stopped near the hibernation room, and I eventually caught up to her. Okay? Wait, Haru! <laughs> I have no intention of berating you! It's just... This is no good time! Wait until the end! I I'll tell you everything, so let's return to the lab for now, okay? I won't be returning. Now that I know the truth, I can no longer be part of the ARC project! After all, I don't want to create another version of myself! Hmm. Of course, not everyone may think the same way as I do, but making the other people join the project without them knowing anything it just doesn't sit right with me. That is why I think they deserve to know the truth. How? It is too late to reveal the truth now. We can't afford to have a single uncertainty if we want to safely complete the art project and save every human alive. No, it's not too late. Rather, I think we need to go and tell everyone the truth as soon as possible before it is too late. No, I won't allow it. It will cause too much chaos. Let go of me, Mr. Klein. What is happening? Wait, if you move like that on this floor... Hmm? Ah! Uh, Haru, it's dangerous! There's ice everywhere! It, it, it was, was an unfortunate, unfortunate accident. accident. Hmm? I had absolutely, absolutely no intention of threatening Haru or making, making her scared. scared. It, is it is true that, that she saw something she shouldn't have, but it was still at the point where we could have settled the matter personally, and that is what I should have done. However, of all the places we could have gotten into a tussle, we were standing on a frozen staircase of the hibernation room! No! And how? Having shaken, shaken off, off my hand, hand that was holding, holding onto her, her suddenly slipped and lost her balance. And proceeded to fall upon down, head first, into the stairs. Well, it was, no, it was nice knowing you, Haro. I knew you for like two minutes, maybe? Three minutes? <laughs> Goodbye, Haro. Are you okay? Haru? Yeah. I'm the executive manager of the art project. Whether I like it or not, situation like this is where I must fulfill my duty as the executive manager. There were two actions I could take for the unconscious Haru. One of them would be to notify the others of the accident and have her seek appropriate medical attention. The other? The, the other, other option is... Yes. Hmm? Is that her? Okay... Fine... What are you doing? You can still save her! Fine... Did you just put her in the... in the pot? Klein? Is that a wise thing to do with an unconscious body? That might or might not be dead? Huh? Uh... 
And also, how comes that Haru had a recording device with her when she was approaching uh, the room, the lab? That's not something that you usually carry around whenever you are around work, right? Especially at such a crucial point when uh, you're getting ready for the official announcement of the ARC project. Right? Usually, when I work, my phone, or whatever I usually carry around, is in my bag, all the way in the other department, where everyone keeps their stuff. I usually don't really carry my phone around, because that thing is just bothering me. So that's a bit suspicious, Haru, especially seeing how this is literally the first time I have ever seen you in this entire game. <laughs> just like Stella. But in the entire game! <laughs> oh god. Okay, that was suddenly a nice surprise though. I can never escape Howl. On one hand... Oh. Another Howl. No, but seriously. At one hand, Howl is a really reliable ally of me. Who literally can destroy the entire world with Apocalypse. Or break through the barrier of a boss that wasn't supposed to get hit and literally obliterate his health bar like it is nothing. Like in Library of Runa. It was great. Loved it. But sometimes she she appears in the background without any further notice, does something really random, and then just disappears again. <laughs> right? Just like this horror. In the post game! She appears in the Post game! <laughs> oh wait. Year 1, Shun, 15. And that witness thing happened on April, before the... the arc thing starts. So I guess... she was able to survive the pot encounter, right? Yeah. He put her in a pot without any medical care. And she was in a virtual world, so I guess... Uh, her condition didn't get worse or better. But that's still not really the right thing to do, Klein. That could have went sour really, really quickly. And right after this project, she needs medical attention right away. Otherwise, she might actually die. Okay, observation record Haru. Klein's note on a person named Haru, as a staff member of the ARC project, as one of his valuable colleagues and a brilliant climatologist. She was being observed by Klein for some unknown reasons. Okay... It's probably because of that, uh, truth thing. Maybe he wants to make sure that she doesn't spread the news. And cause an uproar! Like a certain other person, right? The subject of observation is Haru, a climatologist in the ARC project research team. Despite her young age, she's quite renowned and academic and serves as an excellent resource for our project. Originally, I do not have much contact with her. Of course, she was a valuable colleague in the same ARC project, and since she was close to close to us so we often saw each other face to face okay however the reason why i'm spending effort to write this record is because i judge it was necessary to observe her considering her condition in the real world i find it truly regrettable that this accident occurred first of all and most importantly, I cannot allow this to be known by anyone else. Of course, one day when the art project is over and we wake up in the real world, everyone will realize the truth. But for now, this fact must be kept a top secret. It's true, otherwise it's just going to go all downhill. But the good news is that Howard doesn't seem to remember what happened in her real life. She appears to have a hazy recollection of what happened before and after she entered the virtual world, with only a slight sense of uneasiness. Whether it's short-time amnesia or another psychological factor, it's definitely a silver lining. On an off chance that this is a clever lie of a horror, the ARC project still has a failsafe. 
the loop. I can only hope that this kind of worst case scenario doesn't come to pass. Once I became aware of these events, I've been observing Haru ever since I entered the virtual world. Currently, the chances of Haru regaining her consciousness in the real world are next to none. However, despite accessing the virtual world in a coma, she's behaving no differently from the others who have entered normally. This is somewhat of an amazing discovery, but since the principle or cause is unknown, there may be plenty of issues I have yet to discover. However, if Howard does learn the truth and cause disruption to the ARC project, as the executive manager of the ARC project, I may have to make a cold decision. What I can do for her now is to keep a close eye on her. And in a case of unlikely situation, prepare to take actions at any moment. You don't say, Klein. You don't say. Climatologist's connection to Asar. I've never seen her for the entirety of this playthrough. Not even once. Lost memories, coma, climate, a climatologist, she has connection to the climate? And a portrayer wanted to get rid of the art project. The complete art project. In order to get rid of all the people alive. I mean, let's be serious. If you wanted to reveal the truth about someone that is tricking everyone around him, you kind of would like to ruin his uh, his project in the entirety. Especially after you almost died because of said person. Some people have some giant grudges if they literally almost die because of somebody else. And if she already had connections before with Azar, she probably also has some knowledge about the tech stuff of this world. Oh god, did we find a betrayer? Is she the betrayer? I mean, I would make, it would make sense. Klein was observing her. He already had some clues who could the betrayer be. If she can lie about her memories, she could easily smuggle in the information to the other civilians. They did say that it could be that the that the trader isn't really a researcher, but maybe that was just a red hearing. <sighs> I don't know. I don't know, but there has to be a reason why she was nowhere in the... in the entirety of this... town. And she wasn't in the selection screen either. I haven't seen her in any of the boss encounters either. Unless, of course, she's in the dome, but... I don't really think they would put Haru as the last report and then show her somewhere else. And I'm pretty sure Azar wouldn't really turn one of his friends, except of Klein, <coughs> except of Klein into a boss that needs to constantly fight and die. And she's nowhere around here. She's not, let me just make double sure about that really quickly. I'm gonna check everyone's faces one more time. But I'm pretty sure I didn't saw her anywhere. This is really, really suspicious. They haven't really pointed out who the traitor is yet. I wouldn't really be surprised if Haru kinda end up backstabbing me at some point. She literally plays any role. From a captain, to a hero, to a mage. She could also become a liar if she has to. Right? Shall we? She could even become a liar if she has to. Oh god, that's, that's really bothering me now. This is really bothering me. Wait a second, what if if I were to write her name as a password? Haven't really tried any passwords lately. And I'm still believing that some of those extra words most definitely have a meaning, right? Or maybe I'm literally wrong with this entirely. Yep. Maybe 
Maybe there really is only one password. <laughs> and I've been looking for a herring the entire time. That is also a possibility. A possibility that I don't like. But that might actually be the case. Okay, never mind. I guess there is only one password after all. Which is a shame because I'm pretty sure one of the reports was right underneath one of those uh, other reports that we unlocked for the console. Right? With 1418 or something like that. Huh. Oh well, how about we start our next run then, huh? Certainly, we start our next run. We still have to get a couple of golden clovers, a couple of go conversations, and then at some point, start a couple of challenge runs, right? One at a time. So, Joey, I still need to get your golden clover. And Lian? Haven't really started Lian yet. Mm, but I think Silverstein might be easier. I have a bunch of ammunition. He might like that stuff. Yep, Joey and Silverstein. That's certainly going to be fun, right? Certainly. <laughs> okay then, Lucy. Let's start our work. There's still a lot of stuff for us to discover. A lot of conversation for us to read. Oh my god, that's another book. Come on. We all know Joey doesn't like books. And I'm pretty sure... Okay, I'm not entirely sure if Silverstein doesn't like it either. But uh, it seems very unlikely. I'm just gonna say it. It seems really, really unlikely for Silverstein to like a random book about uh, a moon. Right? Pretty much. Oh well. We first have to worry about Joey. Right? We first have to worry about Joey. I'm gonna recruit... Oh shoot, are you serious? It's the only one that I don't have right now? I mean, let's be serious. I'm currently working on Silverstein. Still haven't really figured out my worry yet, so... Uh, <laughs> How about instead we're going to pick Nahan? Yeah, Nahan is always a good choice. Certainly. Nahan is always a good choice. <laughs> you can't really make a mistake with Nahan, right? Okay, Joey. Drink your milk. You like your milk. Come on. Wait! That's a drink I needed for a new potion! Wait, you really like the milk? How did you know I was looking for this? I kind of thought this was a joke gift for you, Joey, but I could, it's good to see that you actually wanted. <laughs> but great, I gladly take it off your hands. In return, I'll let you try the potion once I finish making it. <laughs> okay, let's hope it's another one that we can just drink occasionally because uh, Lucy kind of likes their drinks. Ow! Wait, are you okay, Joey? Ah, uh, no big deal. I drank a potion, so it will go away soon. So even the lead makes mistakes, huh? You said the investigators were incompetent, but it seems like your allies are precious after all. What did you say? You heard me. You would have been in big trouble if your allies didn't come to protect you, right? Are you saying that I'm behind even those fools? I'm more incompetent than them? An elite like me? I never said that. No, you absolutely did. You were looking down on me just now. I'm not incompetent. An elite like me doesn't need anyone else's help. This stupid wound doesn't bother. Ugh. Yeah, you shouldn't overdo it. The potion effect is still... It takes its time, Joey. Hey, do you know how long it's been since the Ark was founded? Uh... 80 years ago. For 80 years, they didn't manage to find a single time shade. Those art peoples. If that is not a sign of incompetence, then what is? But still, I'm an elite, a genius born once in a hundred years. I want to prove my skills. I want to be acknowledged by collecting the time shades and activating the clock tower. That is why I constantly work to lead the people and set the bar higher for humanity. But to be called incompetent by a kid just because of this silly wound. Again, I never said that. 
Can't you see it, kids? In these dark times, being incompetent is a sin in its own right. Humanity needs to become even more capable in order to survive. And I will stand at the top and create a world of elites. Joey. So that is why... Gah! Alright, I'm all good now. Didn't you just hurt yourself even more? Are you okay? Doesn't it still hurt? As expected of my potion, witness its incredible efficiency. I won't lose, not until I become a true elite, acknowledged by everyone. Uh, can I touch it really quickly? Poke. Yeah, I would say it's not quite here, Joey. <laughs> what are you doing? So it still hurts. Of course it hurts when you touch it. Are you stupid? Just wanted to make sure. Let's hurry up and go and find the time shades already. I'll be there to support you, so go. In any case, I'm glad you're feeling better, Joey. <laughs> well, sure. I'll admit it this time. Thank you for watching over me. Yeah, so you finally decided to acknowledge me. And no worries. Well, if you're that thankful, then how about you make me that potion from last time? The melon type. Or the tasty one. Again. Maybe you're addicted already. Hey, hey, you said the yummy potion was safe though, right? I mean, you did say that. Alright, I can grant that. After all, acknowledging others and returning the favor is another aspect of being an elite. Be thankful that I'm around. Hmm? Always, shall we? So, with this, I can finally start working on Silverstein. And Silverstein is probably going to be easy, right? 100%. He has to be easy. It's mysterious. I have guns. <laughs> he loves guns. How many guns do I have? Can I check my gifts really quickly? I have two guns. If he likes guns, I can finish that in three campfires. <laughs> I kind of want to test out the gun right away. That sounds like a waste because I literally only have two. The first token is always a freebie, so I really shouldn't really worry about the first one. But I really need to hope that he takes the gun for the second and third level up. Because if he doesn't, I'm gonna have a huge problem around here. Now let's pick something up that literally nobody likes. Like art. Seems like nobody can do anything with art supplies, except of Pressel. She likes it. And Sharon likes the violin, but everyone else can't really enjoy the fine craft. <laughs> right, Silverstein? <laughs> a gift? Where did you find something like this? For now, allow me to express my gratitude. Thank you. He doesn't really like it, but he's still thankful. Now then. Let's see. Hey, kid. How long do we need to go until the time shades? Uh, what's wrong? Just tell me. You know where it is, right? As the girl of prophecy. Um, when my power only tells me the directions, I don't really know about the distance, you know? Is that so? Silverstein, you seem a bit restless. Are you... Oh god, bathroom? No, 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 no. Are you, perchance, a little bit scared or worried? Huh? I can't completely deny that. Are you not afraid? Of what? Why do you think humanity took refuge in the Ark to escape from the Black Fog? You'd be considered lucky to survive in the Twisted Land for even a day. Anything could happen at any moment. But seeing you take the lead and lighten the way in front of us, I respect it, but I also feel worried at the same time. I don't know. More than being afraid, I understand this is something only I can do. If I run away, it would be impossible for anyone to find the time shade. And as be serious, she was afraid. She used to be afraid. Really so. At some point, at the beginning of this journey, she didn't even want to leave the Ark. She took a one week break before even starting her first journey. She was really happy about the rain, Silverstein. <laughs> right? Are you okay with the fact that you could die trying? Ooh. 
well, maybe that could happen if I'm alone. But right now, I have a lot of trustworthy allies by my side. Including you, Silverstein. Mm -hmm. So everything is going to be okay. What a reckless kid. I mean, sometimes you need to be a little bit reckless in order to move forward. Right? But only a little bit. Any more than that and it could end up horrible. Quite literally. Horrible. Now, let's see. Increase my 4% for each buff active. I don't really need that. I mean, I do need that for the drones, but this team is not really the buff heavy kind of side. So I guess I'm just going to reduce the cost a little. Of... Old heart, by chance? Yeah, cold heart sounds good. I don't really use it that often. I always wait for the right moment, so that sounds like the perfect spot to use it for. Right? <laughs> mm -hmm. Popcorn girl! I'm sorry for keeping you waiting. This here is my popcorn loving customer, who arrived first. Since everyone here likes popcorn, I will share my special popcorn with all of you equally. It is so tasty you won't even notice if the guy next to you dies. So don't blame me if you end up dying, okay? What? You're gonna share it with the tank as well? Isn't that a tiny bit unfair? Uh, cannot be disabled. All party members cannot use the fixed ability for this turn. My girl, what are you doing? <laughs> Quite literally, what, what are you doing? This doesn't really seem that helpful right now. I'm just saying. Oh well, it's fine. It's gonna be A-OK. -okay. Spicy popcorn. What does that do? Can't quite tell. Oh, isn't that just great? <laughs> I'm gonna... I'm gonna poison the tank again. Okay. For another trap and that should trigger it before he has a chance to go for the kaboom okay not so bad not so bad what about her now closing business okay whoa you ate all of my popcorn and i don't even have to defeat you <laughs> i'm so happy okay i made up my mind i'll be waiting for you over there what are you doing? And where are you going? Huh? Should I be worried? I might have to be worried. Oh yeah. Where was she waiting? I'm not entirely sure. Oh, there she is. Hello? Hello? Hey! Welcome! So, uh, why are you here? <laughs> You're the first person to enjoy my popcorn this much. I want to keep following you around and feed you my popcorn. So let's work together from now on. What? This is a special popcorn you enjoyed the most a while ago. So please accept it. Popcorn? Okay. Tasty popcorn. Cast when drawn. Draw a skill. Heal all allies by 5. 5 barrier to all allies. If there are 15 or less skills in the deck, the scarring pile or hand in combine, exclude the skill. So you want me to have a bunch of cards at all times. And if I have less than 15, you just... I can only use it once. Pretty much. If I have more than that, I can only... Wait, no wait. If I have less than that, I can only use it once per battle. And if I have more than that, I can use it multiple times. Is that it? And it seems like it. Either way, it's a losing skills. So of course I'm going to take it. Thank you very much, popcorn girl. <laughs> oh, do you want more popcorn? Just let me know whenever you want to eat popcorn. Hee <laughs> hee. Good to see that uh, she's so happy for someone who will, uh, I know, 
for someone who just recently tried to, to fight against us with uh, with the tank. I mean, let's be serious. Technically speaking, she didn't really fight against us, but practically speaking, uh, she did kind of end up helping our enemy as well. So I'm not entirely sure about that, right? I am not entirely sure about that. Mm, I'm really tempted to go for Leon again. Oh, I'm so tempted. But at the same time, I could also work on Miss Jane. She literally only has one clover. Sure. Welcome aboard, Miss Shane. Now the moment of truth, though. Does Silverstein actually like guns? Hmm? Do you perchance actually like guns? Hey, that pistol! Yes! <laughs> Never mind. It's just a decor gun. There was a gun that I once wanted for practical purposes, but I gave up on it because the premium was just way too high. It feels good now that I at least own a model of it. Thank you. I put it in my house. So this is a model to a gun that you would have loved to have? Well, at the very least, I was able to give you that as a gift. I don't really think that I have the opportunity to find an extra gun around here, except with the one that you already have. <laughs> um, Silverstein, is your wound looking okay? No, it's it's nothing. Alright, that's not. Oh, shoot. Damn it! This is why I didn't want to come here. Well, it will get better soon, once you drink this potion from Joey. Hey, kid. Why do you have to bring me into this? What? There's a lot of other guys out there, so I'm asking why you picked me of all people. I normally work at the Ark Defense Force. Coming down to the Twisted Land is outside of my duties. I mean, you do look kind of strong, Silverstein. Right? It's because you're really strong looking. There are plenty of guys stronger than me in the investigation team. I don't see what I could possibly have over them, except of the giant rifle and the snipe skill. <laughs> but but still, I want to find the time shades with you, Silverstein. Do I really need a good reason for that? No, it's it's not like that, it's just I clearly insisted that I didn't want to come down to the twisted land though. I only came here because you were asking so earnestly. You always have to risk your life when you come here. That is what I don't like about this at all. Do you not like risking your life, Silverstein? <laughs> what a strange question. Who do you think like risking their lives? Who in their right mind would want to die? Then why are you an investigation team? The investigation team is full of dangerous work, right? That's... Hmm. Silverstein? Forget it. I don't want to discuss this topic anymore. I'll take a nap for a bit. Wake me up when we're about to go. Oh, you can't just step out like that, Silverstein. Come on! I have another gun that you might want to see. Right? <laughs> uh, no, I don't think we need to eat the bread. That's fine. We don't need the bread. But we are about to go back to the... To the archive, though. Right? Do -do 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 -do. I think after this, I might have to make a cut. Right, Nahan? Ah, oh, shoot, right. They're really depressed right here. Are you okay, Nahan? You're really, really quiet. Nahan? Hello? Ah. Uh, I think you're a bit surprised, but could you talk to us? What you're seeing is the truth of this world. The real world is completely different. It's a completely different place, but we lost our memories and thought of this world as reality. So, uh, yeah. If we don't stop us now, we won't be able to go out to the real world ever again. So, maybe you want to help out? You will see. Hmm? I know a lot more than you think. So... There's no need to explain- wait, what? Your memories. They're back, right? Nahan? Why well, don't like the silent treatment, Nahan? <laughs> I don't like the silent treatment at all! Oh, Miss Shane, you just joined the party. 
You literally only have one clover. But are you okay? <laughs> yeah, I'm fine, but... How about you? Did you remember any strange memories? No, I already drank a potion beforehand. Ah, alright. You did say your memories were already back, right? This is bad. Everyone seemed to be having a rough time. We might be on our own from here on out. Miss Shane, do you really not feel anything? Well, maybe it helps that I live without any thought in my head. <laughs> I was surprised to hear that this world was not real, but regardless of what world I'm in, I'm still the same me. I'm fine, as long as I know that. Well, that's a good mindset to have. That's literally the first person around here who didn't fall into a depression. Oh, Silverstein. You already didn't want to come here. And now I dragged you into the archive. Dear freaking lord. <laughs> Are you okay? The virtual world. And the real world. So that is how it is. Damn. It's a truth you can't even imagine until you see it for yourself. It may be hard to believe, but the Silverstein you just saw in this archive is the uh, true self. It is how you were before this virtual world changed. And actually, I don't really find it that hard to believe. Even now, I'm a little more violent than I look. Though I didn't expect it myself to be a full-on gangster. Then... Well, there's something else that really frightened me. Kit, you want to borrow our strength so that we can go out to the real world, don't you? Yes. That means we need to gather as much strength as possible. And if we don't, we are in big trouble. Not only that, what happens once we go out to the real world? If the outside world's been frozen for centuries, are we really going to be safe out there? Well, that... I mean, it's a bit scary thought, but I can assure you that it's gonna be fine. I've already seen the endings. They are able to rebuild civilization. Not entirely sure how, but we saw a time skip of a couple of years, and it seems they were fine. <laughs> Can't really tell you about it, though. But, but you're going to be fine, Silverstein. <laughs> I can understand why you showed us the archive, but I don't think this is worth it. Sorry, but you'll have to ask someone else to accompany you. We're done talking here. Great. Yeah, he hates us. Of course he hates us. Everyone hates us. The only one who doesn't hate us is Miss Shane. And she's the odd one out. Right? She's quite literally the odd one out. Oh well. I would say this is a perfect moment for us to make a little cut. In the meantime, in between this part and the next one, I'm going to quickly clear out this area in order to reach the next uh, campfire stage. Unless, of course, we die, then we're just gonna meet you back at the city or something like that. You know the drill by now, right? You know the drill by now. <laughs> if it works out nicely, I meet you at the campfire, and if it doesn't, I guess we have to start a new run. <laughs> Which doesn't have to be bad, because this is just going to allow us to bring even more people into the archive. And finish off with Silverstein's uh, friendship clovers, right? Certainly. It's a shame if I can't really bring them to the golden token, though. Because then I would need to return to that spot at a later point of time. But that's something that we need, don't really need to worry about right now. Either way, I hope you guys had fun in today's part. And see you in the next one. Until then, bye-bye!